like I said, we're just talking about the 1987 Masters, and um, just when you think when you think back to that Masters, what 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 comes to mind first? Oh, just excitement. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just it's you know it was a, for me it was a dream come true to play in the tournament, and then to win it in '87 was uh, just incredible. You know, I just think about you know I think about the birdie at 18, of course the chip in, and getting the coat from Jack was just really, really special to get the coach from him. Mm -hmm. And um, just real quick, can you tell me, can you kind of go through the, the birdie at 18? You said you had three wood off the tee and then... Yeah, I, mean, I had driver out and Curtis Strange and I were playing together and we were hitting at a similar distance and he hits three wood in perfect position right beside the bunker. And so I turned to my caddy, Scott Steele, we both looked at each other and said, yeah, let's, let's go with three wood. So I hit a really good three wood right by the bunker and, you know, had about 140 yards or so and mm -hmm. just... Uh, you know, under those conditions, you don't really don't want to hit anything soft. So I went with a hard nine, and you know the greens were firm, and it landed near the pin and rolled up the hill. And thank goodness it didn't stay up on the hill; it came back down, and you know left me with a five or six footer for birdie. And you know I was shaking in my boots, but just you know knew I needed to get that putt in the hole to have a chance. And you know hit a really good putt and made it, and that was really exciting to birdie that hole and to give me a chance. And then standing on the 10 tee, it was you and Seve and, and Greg, and that mm -hmm. had to be a, just a surreal experience. Well, it really was. I mean, uh, you know, playing against two great players. I mean, obviously I'm the underdog, but, you know, I, I played well all week. Um, the birdie at 18 was really a, a confidence boost. And, you know, I was nervous, but I had a good feeling going to the playoff. I really, I really liked it, and I was happy, and I, you know, wasn't uh, – I played – I had a playoff with Greg in 86 at Kemper, and so I'd never been in a playoff with Greg before, and I think that was uh, probably a good thing. It wasn't the first time I was in a playoff with Greg, and so, you know, I, I felt, you know, confident going in, but, but obviously nervous. And you said adrenaline carried you on the, you drove past him on number 10? Yeah, I wasn't, uh, it's funny, you know, they say you need to draw the ball mm -hmm. at Augusta, and it is a good thing, but I was, I was having a hard time drawing it. I was hitting it good, and I was hitting it long that week, but I couldn't draw it, so I had went right down the tree line and uh, hit a really good drive, and it caught the downslope and just gave it kind of a springboard effect and went by those guys about 20 yards, which is, it should have been the other way. They should have been 20 <laughs> yards in front of me, so gave me a, a, short, a shorter club, a seven iron in, and hit a good seven iron in there, just in perfect place to, uh, to make a birdie there. Okay, and you two putted for par. I did, I needed to, you know, I needed to hit the putt just a little bit harder, and I think I'd have made it. It just kind of dove off at the end, um, but I made par there, and. To all our surprise, Seve, you know, three putted, so he was out. So it was just me and Greg going to the, to eleven. So at least it's a little better odds for me. And uh, you know, back to normal. Greg out drives me by 20 yards or so, and he's hitting an eight iron in. I think I'm hitting a five iron, and uh, pins cut over by the water in the middle of the green, and wanted to try and hit it on there, but you know, you're always being careful with the water. So I end up flaring it over to the right of the pin about. You know, I think it ended up being about 100 feet. That's what somebody measured it and said it was about 100 feet. And then I just, uh, you know, once Greg hit it on the right side of the green, I felt a little better because he didn't have a short birdie putt, so that mm -hmm. made me feel a little better about it. Um, I think you know, on CBS, Ken Venturi said that he was impressed with your composure. And uh, just watching you just size up the shot, you didn't look nervous. And you, you said that you, it was a fairly simple shot for you. You knew what you were going to do. But it looked like you were just trying to find a spot to, to pitch it to. Well, I think that was what helped. I mean, you know, the worst thing you can do as a golfer is be indecisive. Mm -hmm. And there was only one shot I could play, a pitch and run with a sand wedge. Couldn't land on the green. Anything with less loft was going to be too hard, be too hot, and run, it'd probably run across the water. So. I'm sure I was nervous, but you're so focused on that shot, and you know you've got to hit a good shot to put the pressure back on Greg, that I was, you know, I think my focus obviously was really, really good. And uh, I was just picking my spot where I wanted to land it short of the green, and it hit that spot, and, you know, I just was frozen watching it as it rolled to the hole. And it, it just, even if it would have missed, it would have been close. Yeah, you know, Greg, I remember him saying he thought it'd be four feet by. I thought no more than eight feet. I mean, I would have definitely had a makeable putt for par, which is what I was trying to do, put it around the hole, put some pressure back on Greg. And, uh, but uh, I, was, I was happy. I had no arguments. I was really happy to win the hole. That was, uh, I mean, as you could tell from my running, jumping, and screaming, I was just, I couldn't believe it. I was going to say, to make that shot 
under that kind of pressure as well. I mean, it just has to be special. Well, you know, it really is because, I mean, to, to do it in a playoff at Augusta for, to win for anybody is just, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of storybook, I guess. Mm -hmm. And just knowing that you've got a green jacket and you get to come back every year, just what, what, what's that like? Well, it really is. I mean, that's one of the things you think about. You know, I get to come back every year. I'm a you know, Masters champion. And for anybody, especially a kid growing up in Augusta, that's just, uh, it's just incredible. And uh, <clears throat> I think I appreciate it more and more each year I go back. I just realize how fortunate I am. And to get to go back and play there every year is just, uh, it's just a blast. It's a dream come true.